What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Last night, my tropical team on Storms United hit me up, and they were telling me, hey, Patrick, there's a bunch of tropical waves that are coming off. There's also this one tropical wave that's over Central Africa right now that we might need to pay attention to, and they've been showing me some stuff to back it up, and we're going to go ahead and cover that for you guys. So what we have to start here is we're going to go ahead and pull up the European, the CMC, and the ICON models because... What we have going on is starting about five days out from the time I'm recording this is basically we have a tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. As you can see right here, a pretty strong low pressure system comes off the coast of Africa, starts to organize and starts potentially developing right here. And further models continue to check that and start seeing it potentially strengthen. So we're going to talk about this, this little CMC model that we have right here. That in itself is pretty interesting to look at, but that's just one run. What's going on with it? Now we're going to go ahead next show you the Icon run. And the Icon run has a similar situation going on. Here's that tropical wave right here, that low pressure system right here. Now, it's not partic none of these runs are, for now are particularly strong. This is 180 hours out, but down the road, I've been looking at some ensemble runs that potentially show this really ramping up in intensity right here, folks. Here's the Icon run. Here's the European run at the zero at the zero Z right here. European run has the similar thing right here. The operational European has this thing coming off the coast of Africa. Here it is potentially developing, or at least starting to. It's kind of hard to see on the European official forecast, but it's definitely there, and the 12Z absolutely showed th uh, that going through. So this is the 12Z right here. Has it coming off about the five-day mark, starts organizing, starts to develop, and it, and it approaches the uh, Antilles, approaches the Caribbean over there. However, I've been looking at the ensembles and they're having it moving north of that. We'll get to that in just a second, but before we do, we're going to be talking about what's going to be working for and against this stuff right here. We're going to go ahead and show you the global sea temperatures right here. Here, are the, here they are. Here's what's working for it. We got basically 29 plus degrees Celsius or 84 plus degree Fahrenheit waters in the Gulf of Mexico all the way through the main development region. With some areas of 30 plus degrees Celsius or 86 plus degree Fahrenheit in the main development region, especially over here off the coast of French Guinea, Ghana, Sumerine, over here. And the, basically, all, another thing I'm noticing too is the 28 plus degree Celsius ranges pretty much all across the development region, all across the tropical Atlantic, which is something you absolutely do not want to see. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the ocean heat content map we have right here. Here is the ocean OHC we have. Here's the latest as of today, August 6th. And oh wow, things are getting pretty intense in the Caribbean. But across the main development region, we're seeing increased levels of OHC in, part, in areas off the coast of South America. We're seeing well over 100, up to 125 OHC over here in several areas, actually. But overall, across the MDR, where this tropical wave is allegedly supposed to go, we're seeing areas of 50 to 75 OHC pretty much going into next week. So now we're going to go ahead and show you the wind shear, at least for today. And here's what we have going on. Wind shear map, as of right now, things are fluctuating as they continue to. The Gulf of Mexico has little to, little, little to moderate shear right here. The Caribbean is shear starting to weaken more. But there is shear, more shear across the Atlantic right there that is starting to increase a little bit. That's going to continue off and on, off and on for a while. And then there's also some more shear, pockets of shear in the main development region we have going on uh, uh, right here. And if the European forecast of the shear, well, things get a bit interesting. So here's what we have going on right here. Here is the shear forecast. Let's go ahead and start for the next 48 hours. Shear across parts of the main development region does start to weaken a bit, and it does start to weaken in some parts of the Atlantic Basin over here. Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean do see a bit of an increase, but that's pretty typical. Now we're going to go ahead and go 120 hours out where things start to get a bit more interesting. And as you can see, with the exception of a few areas of stronger wind shear, the wind shear pretty much dies down across much of the Atlantic, and this is the European uh, model we're talking about. Now we're going to go ahead and cross-check this with the relative humidity right here, and the relative humidity, especially with the Sahara dust, isn't looking too great right here, but comparing it to where we, where we were, at least today, and some of this Sahara dust is actually getting pushed up 
to, to Europe right here. It's going to be pushing up to Europe in the next 48 hours or so. It's really going to limit the amount of dust we have in the Atlantic, which is why the Europeans so uh, favorable for development. That's why the CMC is so looking looking at this and saying this could develop. That's why the ICONs looking at this and saying this could develop right here, because the Sahara dust has weakened considerably so far that that we're looking at right here. And this thing does develop a decent moisture pocket that if it can stay uh, stay in its lane and basically take its time to develop to, I could definitely see something going on with this. But we're going to go ahead and go back to the shear forecast to give you a better understanding of this. So here's the shear we have going on right here. This is by eight days out. So shear across the Atlantic continues to fluctuate, but on a downward trend. Shear does increase in the main development region, but it's uh, but it's outside of that tropical wave, so it shouldn't have too much difficulty de uh, developing by the time it gets past that. So that's the situation we have going on right here. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different with these ensemble forecasts, because from what I've been seeing, things are pretty interesting, especially with the European ensemble. So we're going to go ahead and show you the last two, and then see what the GFS says. Here's the 12Z of the European Ensemble run. We're going to go ahead and start about 120 hours out. This is that tropical wave that I'm talking about. As you can see, some of these ensembles keep it around, have it potentially developing, and some of these already have it starting develop, uh, to develop in the eastern Atlantic right here. But the majority of them have it organizing and developing and potentially strengthening as they approach the Antilles and they cross north of that into a hurricane, some of them into a major hurricane in the Bahamas potentially impacting the U.S., Florida, the Carolinas, Georgia, those areas right there. And look at how concentrated these ensembles are right here, at least these ones right here, which that's why I'm really reporting this story to you guys, because I've been looking at the ensembles, I've been looking at the models, the operational saying something could happen, the ensembles are really ramping this up right here, and there's a lot of ensembles that are potentially calling for a scenario like this. This really does kind of look like the GFS a little bit, so this is just one ensemble run, Patrick, why are you harping on this? Well, I want to go ahead and show you something else. This is the Zero Z run, the most recent European uh, ensemble run, and it's showing a similar situation. In fact, the Zero Z actually has this moving at a more, at a slower pace and potentially organizing and strengthening at a faster pace, actually, which is pretty interesting in itself. And we have a ton of ensembles continuing to call for these scenarios right here. The European ensemble is quite confident that something like this is going to happen. We're going to go ahead and show you the GFS ensemble right here, the Zero Z GFS, and see what it's talking about. So the GFS ensemble has this tropical wave coming off. The GFS also has this wave that's in the, in the main development region developing in the Caribbean Sea. However, I'm not too inclined to trust that for now, so we'll play that by ear, but I'm mainly focused on this. And the GFS is a bit more conservative, which is actually pretty surprising, although they do have their fair share of scenarios of potentially hurricane, uh, hurricane strength system basically developing and strengthening as it continues to move through the Atlantic through those warm waters. So we're going to go ahead and keep you updated on this. We're going to go ahead and close the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.